on to some other things. Imagine controlling your electronic appliances, tools, or toys by simply using your mind. Well, that's the future, and a Silicon Valley company is leading the way. ABC7's Alan Wong explains how it works and why everyone at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas was so impressed. This red wire takes the brainwave and feeds it into the device here. This patented device created by Neurosky in Silicon Valley uses a mathematic secret that turns brainwaves into commands. We essentially created a bunch of different algorithms um, one for each emotion, for example, the attention algorithm. Interfaced with a video game, you place the cursor on an object. A strong attention reading enables you to push or pull the object. Will it roll toward you? A strong meditation reading enables you to levitate objects. My attention span level is no good. I can only float yeah. things. You have to practice gauging your level of concentration, also finding ways to disrupt it. Okay, let me levitate the desk. And I'm going to drop. Okay, ready? I'm going to drop it. Neurosky simply builds the brainwave reading component. Other companies like Ologic apply it to their products, like this robot. Stare at this bar graph and try to weld it up. What we, what we were really the most excited about was that you could pretty much control any mechanical system using their technology. Now go go for it again. Eventually, Ologic wants to use Neurosky's technology to build thought-controlled robots for the handicapped and elderly. And NASA wants to create robots to help astronauts whose gloves are too bulky to work a joystick or hold tools. The device can also read neuron pulses, so a blink of your left or right eye can create a command. Neurosky says it will okay, only add about $15 a, uh, to the consumer the product. Bar, and by next year, you may already see video games, toys, even cell phones controlled by your brainwaves. In Silicon Valley, I'm Alan Wong, ABC7 News. Isn't that unbelievable technology moving so quickly now? Well, meteorologist.